multiplying unit fractions using area models. You learned earlier that given any fraction, we can use area models to break it down into a sum of its unit fractions. For example, 5 eighths could be seen as the sum of the unit fractions 1 eighth plus 1 eighth five times, as you can see here on the area models. At the same time, remember that multiplication could be seen as repeated addition. So, 1 plus 1 5 times is equal to 5 times 1, which is equal to 5. Similarly, adding 1 eighth to itself 5 times is simply 5 times 1 eighth. So the fraction 5 eighths is equivalent to 5 1 eighths, or 5 times 1 eighth. So if we need to multiply a number by a unit fraction, the result will be that number in the numerator and the denominator will remain unchanged. This is because in the result we will have as many units as the number we are multiplying by. For example, let's multiply 4 by 1 sixth. Here is 1 sixth represented by one shaded part out of a total of six parts. Multiplying it by 4 means that we need to add 1 sixth to itself four times, which is equal to 4 sixths, as you can see. What if we multiply the fraction by a number larger than the denominator? We do the same thing. For example, suppose we multiply 1 8 by 21. This means we add 1 8 21 times. So we need 21 shaded parts out of a total of 8 parts. And the result is 21 8 So if we shade all these parts, we get a total of eight shaded parts, and we need another rectangle divided into the same number of parts, eight, and we shade all of them. Now we have a total of 16 parts. We still need another five, so we get another rectangle and only shade five parts. So, we have two fully shaded rectangles of eight parts each and five shaded parts of a total of eight in a third rectangle. This shaded area is the fraction 21 eighths, which is 1 eighth times 21. In this lesson, you learned how to multiply a number by a unit fraction using area models.